What's up YouTube and welcome back to my Anno 1800 Let's Play with all of the DLC. So, in the last episode, which I just uploaded, um, as I promised, I wanted to do two episodes today because I haven't uploaded anything in a few days. So, here we are. Um, the last episode actually got a copyright claim, which is strange because I haven't had any, like, at all so far. Um, probably for like the last 15 or 20 videos and then all of a sudden I have one. So... I'm considering of muting all audio during during that little section or just deleting the video and re-uploading it. I'm not sure what I want to do. But um either way, I, I think I think it'll be okay. Um I, I just I just don't like having a copyright claim. I know it doesn't really it doesn't affect my channel or anything, but it's just kind of frustrating to have to deal with. Um anyways, so getting back to it, let's go back to the old world. As you can see, we do have access to the new world, so that is really exciting. Um, very, very nice to be able to start bringing in those, uh, those needs, those goods from other places. So I have three, three frigates here. I have a Imperial command ship and two clippers. So what I need right now is canned goods. And I have tons of beef and peppers coming in over here as a Kinthos. And as you can see, we have a lot. So I upgraded the storage here to be you know, proper. I can store up to 250 of resources at the moment. So I'll just have them traded over here. But I think what I'm going to do is, so if, when I bring oil, it'll be coming through over here. So maybe I might, I might kind of delete some stuff in this area to make room for a production center. But for now, I can just make it to be maybe over here. Yeah, so I can make the oil harbor over here and then just have it transport stuff. You know, have it have it put some electricity here and then have the, the train coming down here for more electricity. I think it'll work out just fine. So what I'm thinking about doing is building some brick roads, which I want to put right there. We'll make a nice, nice bridge out of brick. It does look pretty good, actually. It's pretty nice. So let's put... Let's kind of put a road down here, going all the way down, all the way down to the coast. And then what I wanted to do was take some blueprints, turn blueprint mode on, of course, take the artisanal kitchen and put, let's put one there, there. Okay, so I have eight of them because they take, so it takes slightly less time to make one of these. So I think to support these, I'll need a several factories going, but um, one of these alone can support one. No, I need two of these. Wait a second. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, two minutes. Oh, it only takes 30 seconds less. So I guess we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. My, I'm not I'm not really good at that math as far as that time goes, you know, I'll just leave these blueprinted anyway It's not like it's not a big deal Okay, so what I want to do is set up a trade route Let's create a route from Let's grab one of my clippers though Prospero and we'll take them from Zakynthos to uh, Isle Royale we're gonna load Peppers, we're gonna load beef. And we're just gonna keep transporting it like crazy. And there'll be there'll be excess, sure. But that that'll be okay. So let's let's just make sure that we're really Oh <laughs> yeah, there's the there's the voices. Um let me turn on my voices real quick though, because I wanted to Okay, let's put it at 30. Okay, cool. So let's get the canneries and put it, uh, yeah, let's put the cannery here. Let's put one here. We can put maybe a warehouse right there in the middle. Put one there, there. And then just see how that goes for now. We'll put a, uh, yeah, put the warehouse. 
Well, I hoped I could put the warehouse here with a little bit of a road in between. Yeah, I thought I could do something like that. So let's make a... Oh, we need windows. I f totally forgot about windows. Okay, okay. So let's go to this coast here. This is what I planned on doing. I planned on doing windows here. Or at least 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. So I can have two of each. Yeah, I can have two of each going here. And all those cost is brick. Is brick and timber, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so they will... They'll take everything up to that warehouse. That'll be nice. So we have the quartz coming in there. And then we're going to have the glass makers. We can have the glass makers actually here. I think that would be fine. Or here. No, I don't want to take productivity away from the coal. Although I'm going to uh, import the coal soon, so um, at any point I can delete those. I'll probably import them from um, Zakynthos up there. So that will be okay. Maybe I could put the glass maker here for now, you know? I think it would work there, yeah. Okay, yeah, how about that? blueprint or uh, brick this road this little alley back here delete that road okay so steel beams clay perfect let's get these going so all I need is um, yeah all I need is the quartz there so now well actually I only need one of these Yeah, I need, I need one of these, one of the quartz. Okay, let's delete that. I, yeah. That was kind of dumb of me to make two. <laughs> so let's just delete... Let's delete this one. Get the money back and stuff from it. And then we need two glass makers because it takes one minute. So we need two glass... One, or sorry, two window makers. But we need one glass maker, one sand mine, two window makers. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get get that straight. So, let's put the window maker here. Right where the old glass factory was. However so briefly that is. Okay, we'll put it right there. I think that's a, this is like a good little industrial center here, you know. Um, looks like we're full on beer, that's interesting. I think we should do some storage though. We should definitely add some storage in here. Maybe we could put it here. It's just kind of a, a harbor. Yeah, that'll work. So we need one more window maker though. Um, maybe we put it here. Because we don't need the blueprint of that extra warehouse there. So we could just put, yeah, putting it here is a good idea, I think. There we go. So it's going to go to that warehouse and grab everything it needs. And actually, I could upgrade this warehouse, although I need 20 more brick. So I'll I'll put a put a hold on that. But anyways, yeah, we need windows for everything. So I'll getting I'm getting them at two minutes a piece there, for, or one minute a piece for that glass maker there. So what's up with these? There's not a single man in this whole town who's fit for me. Look at me, my beauty is far beyond these of these peasants. Girl, he look he look like a peasant. Okay. So where oh find and collect a potential husband. Oh, she's looking at the firefighters. I see. I see, I see. A 
a police officer. Someone at the pub. Is that who she wants? Now we have to go find her someone here. So I got I got 20, 20 logs for that. Okay, that's that's real that's real great. Real great. Alright, let's send my let's send my Imperial command ship up here to to Sir Archie so we can get that quest going for Cape Trelawney. Then we'll take a look here at Mackinac. So we have quite a lot of quite a lot of workers already. Let's take a look at our demands and make sure everything's okay. Nope, nope, not quite. We need sausage. Um, okay, let's do sausage then. Sorry about that, hiccup. Okay. So we are bringing in soap. Very good. So let's let's work on sausage then. Where did, where did I put the other bits of sausage at? So my wood is there. Timber, I mean. Um, oh, the sausage is probably here then. Is this where I put it? Yeah, yeah, that's where I put it. So maybe, maybe I can put like another pig farm pretty close by. Wanted to keep it kind of together, you know. Okay, yeah, I can put it there. Put another slaughterhouse right next to it. Okay, so. Let's get some more farmers here. Um, I Oh yeah, I built some here. But I wanted to make some more. I'm gonna build these guys kind of along the coast, you know. I like kind of doing that. I think, I think it looks really neat to have farmers like up in this area, you know? This one little house is on the very edge. Looks pretty cool. Then I'll put like a road, you know? Like a like a road kind of around this border and then have some houses in the middle. I think that would look pretty cool. Okay. We'll upgrade it to a brick road later, so I don't have to put like any markets or anything like up in here. There we go. Okay, so um, let's bring this road up here, up here, up here, up here. I'm trying to match it up nicely. Okay. So there it is, let's make these houses. And boom, there. There's quite a few there. I don't know how much of the needs are being met there yet, yeah, not many. So actually, you know, I, I have quite a few bricks here. I have enough to go ahead and do this. Okay. I still don't think it's really gonna reach. But it doesn't hurt to try. As long as I have like the market going on that side, I guess I'll be fine. Like a market in a pub, I guess I can just kind of nestle right in there. Oh, I hit 10,000 population. That's why I got a new um, propaganda article unlocked. So I am getting some here. Like it's not much, but it's something, I guess. I guess we can put like a put a market like right here. Just to kind of satisfy them. Complete the sunken treasures expedition. Okay. So we have our We have the dude here, the Imperial Command ship. Dear friend, 
What you read in the news is true. Her majesty is gone. My one consolation is that her absence seems by choice, for she left me this parting note. Don't fret, Archie dear. I'm off south to restore our imperial glory. We'll return when that's done. Please, can I trust you to ensure her safe return? I must remain... Yeah, the message is gone. I guess I'm too slow. So let's complete that expedition. We'll, we'll do that with uh, Constance here. To the sunken treasures. So let's assign Constance. Huh. That's weird. My my frigate there is actually like a lot better off than than the um, than the command ship here at doing anything. So we need uh, hunting and diplomacy. So let's find hunting. Oh, brick or clay. So hunting is covered. And where is diplomacy? Do we have diplomacy? Um, is there a good that fits the... Oh, beer. Of course. I guess I don't want to give them all my beer. Let's do like 10 or 20. There we go. Okay, so I think that that'll suit. That'll suit it good enough. Um... I hope my ship is going pick up the is I hope it's going to pick up those goods first. I think it is. Yeah, cuz I cuz I think it would go to the far right edge of the screen if it was going to go to Cape Trelawney. So it's picking up the goods first and then it's uh it's going to take off from there. So uh what do we have here? What's this quest um approach a ship? Oh, it's an escort. For for George Smith, I think it's a quest that I actually wanted to do, so I'm going to send him up there. It might be too late, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it might be too late. That's okay, so we're looking at Mackinac here. I wanted to kind of build out some more farmer houses here. Let's do a two... Yeah, let's build. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Not yet. I did want to be kind of efficient with the housing, but it's not that big of a deal. So I want to kind of weave in like little streets here and there, like this. I think it looks pretty cool like that. There we go. Then maybe put a few farmers here. So those have access to roads. Are these guys getting their pub needs from here? Not really. I'm not going to put a pub in here. I just want to fit as much housing as I can. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. So this one here will not be able to get any needs because there's no road. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Let, let's fill in like the fill in like the little spaces here with like trees and stuff. That way it looks like a charming little neighborhood, you know? Hey, there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Like the market here with the with the woods next to it, that's really cool. I dig it, I dig it. And we have quite a few farmers already, so I'm not gonna feel the need to really build any more farmers there. I do need to check my needs though. Because with more farmers, yep, more farmers, more, uh, with more farmers comes more alcohol, that's for sure. So work clothes and schnapps are definitely a need right now. But luckily, well, thankfully, I have already made arrangements to do that. 
But up here, I think, is where... Yeah, so I want to kind of butt this up against my population. Um, a pickup quest for Incendiary. That's kind of cool for a flamethrower card. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, uh, my frigates won't make it in time for that quest, I don't think, so... Eli offers me a pickup quest. Okay, that's fine. Let's take that on. And we were still at Mackinac here. We're trying to... Oh, we, we already have worker clothes blueprinted here because we knew it was coming eventually. So I still might be behind production a little bit. Nope, I'm right on par. So that's really good. We have bread coming in here already. Um, but I think beer might be slightly difficult here. So I'll be producing it here at Isle Royale. But I have enough windows to go ahead and start with the canned goods. So let's do that. Oh, I what I what I don't have is so I need iron as well. So I think I might do I have a surplus of iron? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Um, but let's let's take a look here. So I have I have one artisanal kitchen and one cannery. So that okay, so that provides enough for one. But let's look at like the intermediate good here. Yeah, so the goulash uh, has a slight... Okay. So two artisanal kitchens will be more than enough. It'll actually produce a surplus. So if I can get enough windows soon here to to get that going, then I'll be, I'll be happy. But Isle Royale is looking really good. It is. I'm quite happy with it. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. So, so this quest here just just isn't going to happen. So let's collect the flotsam and turn it into Eli. And then we'll go... So what's this other quest for? Like, what's going on here? Oh, is it from... Pick up Flotsam. I'm trying to find out. I, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's for the escort. You know, that, that's probably what it is. All right, so let's grab that. Eli Bleakworth, what is he? Oh, he's offering copper, zinc, all that stuff. I didn't know he did that. Lumberjack cuts and charcoal kiln, wow. Okay, so I did that. Now let's deliver compromising evidence to him. Yep, hand in that quest. Yes, I'm sorry, George Smith. I didn't mean to forget about you. A destruction quest? Okay. Let's kill that gunboat then. Also, someone else already took it out. Looks like looks like uh, our friend Dr. Hugo Mercier took that out already. Very nice. Okay then. So I guess that's like kind of a, a free quest for us. So let's go ahead here. I think we yeah we have enough windows now for another artisanal kitchen. So let's build that, and then our sh frigates are on their way here. Yep, hand it in. Okay, fourteen thousand. That's really nice. Really nice little boost of coin there. So let, what what's over in this area? My quest book. I have to pick up at Hugo Mercier's Revolutionary Clipper. That's why. And these, okay, and these ones are guarding it. So, see, I thought his clipper was down at my harbor. So hopefully, I don't have to kill these things. So let's let's go here. Just take one of these frigates here. Pick it up. Pick it up. I'm trying to understand why nothing's happening. Oh, 
Maybe maybe it's not what I okay. I don't think it, I don't think that's part of the quest. Um, let's go here and pick that stuff up. So what is going on? Um, fire. Oh, fire is out of control apparently. Well, let's go ahead and while we're at it, let's slow this down. And I've been forgetting to brick brick this up here a little bit better. So emergency services has like you know just better access in general. Okay. Yeah, fire left ruins behind. Let's take care of that. But one of my buildings is under attack. What's that about? Because I have no idea. Okay, ceasefire with Anne Harlow has ended. So let's go back to her. Um, let's get another ceasefire. She demands 13,000. No problem there. How about we flatter her a little bit? Nope, she didn't like that. Give her a gift. Okay. Cool, so we're 28 reputation with her. Looking good, looking very good. So it looks like um, my canned goods are coming along nicely. So maybe if we check production once again, we are producing a slight surplus, but it's not, it's not anything like significant. We're producing a small surplus of that too, but I think what we need is another cannery which I want to put right there. And then another... Okay. Another cannery, another artisanal kitchen. And I'm going to keep... Actually, I should build another one here when I'm... When I've got eight windows. Yeah. So if I get a nice trade union, I'll put it right there too. Or if I get a nice item for the trade union, then I'll just drop it there. So my frigates are on the way. Um, oh, I do have Sunken Treasures Expedition thing here. Let's take care of that. A royal, a royal progress is no coincidence that the trail of roses left in Her Majesty's Wake has ended in this pretty continental town. So um, we're going to kind of glaze over this. I'm not going to get into detail with all the reading here because it, it just kind of takes a lot of time. And I'm just going to kind of go through it. She's a queen. She must be a sign of her. There must be a sign of her somewhere. Gives some success chance. I'm just going to pick whatever's got the best success chance and for some reason clay is helping with uh deducing her location um let's help the let's help the queen here with the beer okay okay let's go with provide extra rations and continue so we're definitely hitting cape trelawney this episode we definitely are and i am really excited about that but let's look at the new world real quick because i want to get this place all set up and ready to go to ready to go for our needs here because we're going to need rum and cotton very very soon so i think i can start putting population here put my farms over here put more farms i'm just going to spread farms like everywhere <laughs> everywhere i possibly can go but um yeah so i'm going to start right here with the population and um, i think the marketplace is going to go right Hmm. I feel like I should have maybe moved the maybe moved the harbor down there. There. So now that now that I move it moved it there, I think I feel a little more comfortable putting the marketplace like there, and then moving the road kind of up slightly, so I can move it like that, and then put population on both or you know. Um, citizens on both sides. So let's do that. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then do. Let's do another one, two, three. Okay, so that'll be like my base population for now. I'll get those needs satisfied and then we'll progress from there. This is going to be a nice, nice island. And oh, I forgot to come up with a name for this. How about we just do... Uh, I don't know. Let's just go with like Hawaii. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Luckily, the uh, the buildings, the Hornolero buildings are like really cheap. 
So I built all those houses and I still have enough uh, wood to build my lumber operation. So that's that's pretty nice. Click the cargo. Yes, yes, sir. Um, so let's go back. Let's go back to the old world. I should have just hit the number number pad key for the hotkey for going back. Um, where are you at? Okay, there you are. Now we got to deliver that stuff back up there. But the wind direction is like in my, it's in my favor. So I'll get up there pretty quick. Um, then I can complete this quest for him. And I think I get like, I think I might get some sort of uh, item. We'll see. Well, we can check here. Reward. Oh yeah, yeah. We get, get some reputation item and some money. So that's good. So we do need beer here in Mackinac. And... You know, I'm not sure. You know, I need an item for hops. That's what I need. And Madam Kahina can help me with that wherever she is. Ah, here she is. So let's spend 5000 to check it out. And nope, no go. So that is completely fine. I'm not worried about it. That'll be fine. This island has hops here, but I don't... I think I can probably schedule a charter. I don't know. Or I can just trade beer from Isle Royale over to my other island, you know? I guess we could do that. So I wanted to take, um... Okay. Let's edit this and do uh, some consumerism. 5%. Okay. So Beryl likes propaganda, good for you, Beryl. So I hope I don't get hit by that. You know, let's actually go backwards, because they're going this way, so I want to come around behind here and then um, deliver or whatever. I think this guy, what he's doing is we're delivering stuff to these ships so we can blow them up. That's what the deflagration device is. <laughs> I'm guessing, anyway. That's what it looks like. It looks like a, some sort of fuel or a bomb. Like a Molotov cocktail, you know? Okay. I am close enough to this one. So I gotta do it to the clipper. Maybe first or something? Like, I'm not sure why. I'm at the ship of the line. I guess not prompting me for anything. So let's try to get close to the clipper and see what happens. They're moving a little slow, so. Wonder how close we actually have to get. All right, so let's get down to this guy here. Yep, setting them on fire. Okay. Oh, they're Sir Archibald Blakes. So I set those on fire and... Oh, Archie. I like Archie. I'm sad about that. What kind of quest does he have? An escort. I'm cool with that. Get 13,000 out of it? That's perfect. So let's approach that. And do that quest. Okay, so progression on Mackinac is... Looks like it's uh, restrict... Well, it's not restricted at all. I, actually, I can get artisans here. Everybody's lining the streets. They're pretty happy. They seem pretty happy. I'm pretty happy about this. This is like a cliffside manor, you know? Let's upgrade this one. It's a nice little house on the edge there. I like this kind of picturesque, you know? It's kind of cool. Anyway, let's uh, go to the new world. We need to figure out uh, the lumber situation. So I think we can start out by putting lumber right here. So let's put that lumberjack there. And then I want, I remember this, the, the edges here. So maybe I can go there. Okay. And then Maybe one right there. 
Yeah, this one is encroaching just a little bit, but it's just, it's not that big of a deal. So, um, let's go back here. All right, let's get on that escort. All right, now back to the new world. Um, let's put another one, because like I said, I like to do four. I think four is the best pathway to upgrades, at least quick upgrades, you know. So let's put the warehouse like right, let's delete that road. Let's put the warehouse like right there. Okay. This one's got 97. This one's got full. This one's got 99. Okay, these are actually really, this is a really good placement. Perfect. So now we put one there. Actually, we can put this one here. Then yeah, we need we need a road to harbor. Yep, yep. So that that's coming in here. Okay, there's the road to harbor. So we have one there, one there. Actually, let's put this one. Let's let's leave in that one at eighty two. Guess we'll put two of them here. And then, so this one's at. 87 as it is So we have three and Then I think three will be fine that way I can build up a small stockpile of logs for when I start to build um, rum Well, no, I can just pause production then I think I would rather just do this Yeah Okay, so now I have four sawmills going that's gonna really reel in the timber So let's get some more Hornaleros here Yeah, that won't work. I'm just gonna do the do what I've been doing here. And build the population kind of going up in a vertical line. This is just to really make the most of my space here. Um, since it's my first island in the new world, I really want to make sure it's efficient. You know, it's it's up to it's up to par as far as like the population and efficiency goes. That way I have a nice base to work from. But anyways, we are cruising right along. Our Hornaleros are coming in very nicely. Let's get some fish oil. And then we'll get a plantation running here as soon. Very soon. Because actually, this plantation... Okay, the banana farm takes six timber. The fried plantain kitchen takes two. So... So it, it's it's gonna happen, just not as quickly. So what does she have? A collection quest. Flotsam. Okay. Well, I can send my clipper to do that. I mean, that'll be fine. What do I have here? Oh, sugarcane fertility. That's awesome. Oh, occasionally pretty. Oh, I wish I had enough money for this. That'd be so good for the plantain kitchen. Oh, that would be great. Too bad, though. Too bad. So there's three, like, larger islands up here. I need one with rubber, so I think this one would be really good, actually. I mean, it's got a lot of, a lot of um, rivers, but still. Okay, so the Sunset Island here would be good, too, for the cotton. And it's really close to the old world, so... Um, we do have another Sunken Treasures thing to going on. I keep missing these because I, I get so, like... Involved with other stuff. Masquerade, a few heads turned, but the doorman, yeah. I'm not going to really go too much through this, but I'm using my beer to help me on my way. Alright, so maybe one or two more of those little cutscene things, and then we'll be able to get going with Cape Trelawney, which is kind of going to be hectic because we're already, you know, we're fully settling the new world now. We're trying to, and um, it just gets a little hairy. So too many, too many things going on here, huh? Okay. Okay, let's build some roads around that to get a little bit better. 
But then once I have enough timber, I'll build a bridge like to maybe maybe over here and then just make a lumber operation here in the corner and not worry about it. Or, yeah, I don't know. But either way, this island has a ton of oil too. So that like this island is going to be key for everything we're doing. Uh, okay, so new status town. This is going to be all for population. So I don't want to put any bananas here. I think what I want to do is put them here. Or better yet, here. And kind of just keep them off in this little corner. I think that would be good. So I, I need I need 20 uh, timber to make a bridge. And then I need another 6 or 8 timber to build the actual facilities. So I'm going to save up timber before I actually get to that. So let's go back to the quest here. Deliver it to her clipper. So actually, while we're at it, I wonder if I can... Oh, I'm not actually at war with Jean LaFortune, so that's that's good. I can't get a peace treaty with Miss Harlow yet. Near certain for this guy. Let's flatter him, okay. Offer gift of 7,000. You know, I want to hang on to my money for now, so let's wait on that one. All right, so 36 timber. The timber really is flying in here now. I'm really happy about that. So I think um, without harming my productivity too much for the timber, I want to do this. There. That cost me 20, but that's fine. So what I wanted to do was go make a road here. And put the bananas like right here. Or actually, I wonder how like wonder how fat I can make these farms. Because if I if I cram them in here. Okay, so what I want what I was thinking is I could do I could do this and then fill these spots in. 122. Okay, so there's 128 there. And then I could put a plantain kitchen. Maybe I could put it like... Okay, so I could put a plantain kitchen here. Then put another banana farm or plantain plantation right here. Yes, yes it does. I agree with you. Every second does count. Okay, we got 7,000 out of that. Not too shabby. Okay, so 128. Okay. So I like this setup a little bit. A little bit better than what I was originally thinking. Because I was originally thinking that I would just draw it straight up here and then put a warehouse here. I'm still going to put a warehouse here. But at the same time, I like this style of bringing the plantain here to the plantain kitchen. Okay, requires my attention. So what's going on here? The Cape of Trelawney, the queen fled the casino at high speed. Okay, um, let's continue the pursuit. Um, call out to her or navigation. Navigation has a bigger success chance. So okay to that. And I think here we are. Yeah, yeah. So let's go in the cutscene. Arriving in Cape Trelawney. The Queen's just going to talk a little bit about interesting things, I guess. Or not not really interesting. But anyways, so I'm going to skip this. Hope you don't mind. I'm sure you can watch the... Um, I'm sure you can watch like the, the clip or whatever, the cinematic on YouTube or something. I don't know. But if you want to see videos like that, let me know and I'll be happy to show them for you. I just am not really interested in taking the time to listen to it and all that. But in the future, I'll be glad to. So just let me know in the comments what you think about that and I will do it. So right off the bat, 
Cape Trelawney is a nice spot, and I see people on the Anno subreddit referring to oh, very nice thirteen thousand, referring to uh, Crown Falls or, or not Crown Falls, but Cape Trelawney as like a continent, <laughs> you know. So it's that's pretty cool. We will need okay, so we will need peppers. We will need some a few more other things. So this this won't be the only island that we take. Yeah, Crown Falls. Uh, this won't be the only island that we take. We're definitely going to be taking a few other things here. Um, a few other islands, because there are some nice ones. But we will need the fertilities from other stuff. But as you can see here, like our resources are huge. Nine iron, six coal. I mean, my goodness, four clay even. It's just, uh, it's ridiculous for building. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, jeez. So, I guess I'm going to war with him. Okay, there we go. Quest requirements lo no longer met for what exactly? Okay, so let's get out of that stupid menu there. Okay, so where do we want to put... Okay, so I don't want to put it over there. I want to have like pretty good access to. I want to have pretty good access to the old world, so I think I'll put it here and put my population kind of crammed right there, and then kind of spread out beyond there. I might put like my wood here or here. I want to start here for sure. So let's do that, and then I'll pick up these other goods and drop them off in the trade post once I. Uh, once I've done that. Cool. So build trading post there. And they started out naming it Crown Falls. That's good. So did I lose some of the goods? Oh no. I got the full amount. Nice. Queen is ready to lay down foundations of a new city at Crown Falls. I can see it. A brilliant metropolis rising here. From memory of the victory my father masterminded. A shining new jewel in the crown of my empire. All right, let's deposit some stuff there. Let's take commission a treasure hunter. Okay, so that is where old Nate comes into play. One of our ships is under attack. What? Oh, the clipper. Oh no. So yeah, looks like uh, looks like the pirate's gonna be after me here, which is fine, I guess. It's just I'm annoyed that I'll probably lose my clipper. So let's uh, propose a seize fire to him. See if he takes it. I don't think that he will. Oh, yeah, there we go. It costs 22,000, which is kind of ouch. Like, that kind of sucks. But it's okay. Alright, so we're full on here. Like, Hawaii is full on with timber. And for some reason. Oh! Derp. Idiot. Jeez. Forgot to make, forgot to make the fish oil. Okay. Okay. So now we need ponchos, but I want to make this island here mostly plantains, if I can. So I'm thinking about putting the. How about we just take, take these. Um, okay. Let's delete this. Let's put the plantains. Or the plantain kitchen right here and here and then put plantains let's nestle them right back here so that we really really make the most of this space that's what I'm wanting to do because if I put it up against this mountain I think that's really making the most of it and then I'll put another one probably just put it right here and then I'm making the most of this here Putting that around there, and then... Okay. So that's actually kind of nice, because I can have this... Um, I can have the road coming up through here. And I still have room back here for some things. Alright, so I'm going, going hard on the plantains right away. 
because they they go through them like crazy. I mean, it is their food, so like I, you know, I totally get it. But let's kind of delete these roads here. Put a fish oil factory there. Oh, it's it's got to really come up into the coastline. Okay then. But yeah, like I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, I forgot if I said this or not, but um, there will be like a minute and a half or so of audio to cut out. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet, but the copyright claim is asking that I do it. So I think I just might dispute the claim, but we'll see. I just wanted to mention that so you all, you guys all know, like if there's some audio missing from that video, it's because of the copyright claim, which I've had no problems with before. Well. When I first started making Yano videos, I had problems with it, but it stopped for a long time and now it's back again. I don't know. It's it's annoying. So I just turned my Yano music down a little bit and so that my talking is kind of like breaking it up. So so it's not like detected, you know. So anyways, plantains are coming up. We need poncho darners. So I want to build most of my population. I want to put like up here. I'll put four there few there and here. So I'll put two two by three there. A two by three there. So I think um, Cape Trelawney I'm gonna have to really cut to the chase as well as far as making new islands because I'm really going to need an island to supplement that that island, the supplement Crown Falls because it doesn't have it doesn't have um, peppers, so the canned goods won't be won't be coming in as as readily as I'd hoped. You know, let's just make all those. I'm not too worried about it. Let's put in a chapel. We'll put it. We'll put that next to the fire station. Boom! Boom! Okay. Perfect. So now we have like a pretty, pretty, pretty good population here, like a decent. Um, let's check the plantains. Are all oh, plantains are looking great? We need two poncho darners though. Uh, the handler Barrelmar offers me a destroy quest. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take it. So population will be going here. Um, some more of the farms will be going there. I will be deleting this lumber operation, but I would like to maybe move it pretty soon. Um, so, so how about I move ponchos, I'm have one side of this little spot be ponchos and then one side be like kind of some farms. So I think that'll be a pretty good idea. So how about we do this? How about actually, let's, let's delete this little spot. I might be able to squeeze a poncho darner in right here, to be honest. Because I know I will need more plantains. That is not like disputed at all. Because <laughs> they, they really do go through it like crazy. So let's do this here. Let's put an alpaca farm. I think, oh yeah, it takes four. One, two, three, and four. Poncho Darner can go right, well. If I put the warehouse, I don't know, this is a really awkward spot, to be honest with you. This is awkward to put this in. So what if I put this alpaca farm, like, there? I put one there. Maybe put one... Yeah, see, I can't, uh, unless, unless I do this. Okay, let's, let's delete that. Okay, let's fill this in. Okay, that's filled in. So let's take this road and go like this. And then now we have more space here and we're not like forcing ourselves to be crammed in. So let's take this llama 
alpaca farm. Let's put it there. And then we'll put the Pancho Darner right here. Then I wonder if we can fit one more. No, I don't I don't think we'll be able to fit another one. Unless we put another alpaca farm here. No, I wouldn't be able to fit it there either. Wonder if I could put one. Then put a poncho darner here. No, it wouldn't fit there either. Okay. I'm just trying to test things out and see, see what would work and what wouldn't. Obviously not a whole lot's working. So I'll just put this one here. Okay. So now we have base level poncho darner going. That's good. I wanted to put a bridge here. And then make some more production coming over here. So I will I will start my clay right here. I need obreros first. That's fine though. That's completely fine with me. Okay, so uh, Hawaii is getting all set up now. Let's go to Cape Trelawney. And let's get this uh, kind of started up as well. Like I said though, once once we got you know, once we got access to Crown Falls, thing things get things get a little crazy. Because there's just, you know, there's so much to be done. I don't know, maybe this area, do you think this area would be better for industry? And then this, this area out here would just be better for population. Yeah, I, I think that would be actually better. So I'm going to move this trade post right here. And delete that. Delete this road here. Okay, so let's make this road again. Let's get some things blueprinted up. Let's get the, well, actually, the fish for some reason is like, okay. Let's get the fish blueprinted here. All right, now we'll get we'll get the, uh, the market going. And then I think we'll be all set to really start building on Crown Falls. Okay, so let's, so I will be bringing oil and everything here. So let's start out like this. I don't know why, I just, I think, I think this little situation here looks good. Like when I just build a road around the market and I start, I just kind of build this like double road. Cause even if I don't run a train track up here, I can put trees here on both sides of the road and just make it look, you know, really good really good as as is okay so actually let's let's delete this here and I wanted to kind of start right here maybe if I do a three oh if I do all the way here okay I'll just do that I know it's a it's a little awkward because of the fishery there Okay, so now I need to let's build the, build those little driveways there for him. But let's uh, blueprint a few more things here. Okay, so that's looking good, and we'll we'll work with old Nate in a little bit here. I think. Well, it's probably more in the next episode because we're coming up on an hour here. So, um, so that's that's looking good. I'm just gonna blueprint a few things. So. So now uh, with the timber, um, I want to get it nice way up and out of the way. So how about we do it back here on this, this coast? We could actually populate this, <laughs> but I don't know. But yeah, let's, let's get like a beautiful little forest going up here with a timber operation, you know? All right, 100% there. 100% there. 
get a warehouse like right there. And then we'll have 100% right, right here. And then 100% right, see these are coming out this way. So I think 100% there looks really good too. So of course we, you know, we've got to get the, we've got to get the road to Harbor. So let's get that road. I want to take it this way. And I can change it, of course, but. Okay, so the road's kind of coming down this way. You know, actually, let's do this. Let's build the road all the way back here. That way we have a nice line going back. Then we have like a nice accessible way to it. I actually, you know, a thought just came to mind. I might actually redo this spot here. Um, I might redo this population spot because I have this cool square that I like to do. You've probably seen it on my, some of my other Let's Plays, but I do like this big square of population of houses and I put some trees in the middle and whatnot. And then I put like a bunch of community buildings in the middle. So I wanted to do one of those big squares and then in the middle of that, like, you know, like the bank, um, the electric, the, like the electric plant, stuff like that. And I wanted to put them all together, but in the middle having the electricity and stuff. So I think I might actually do that, but for now this will do because I just want to get this lumber going because getting the, getting the timber going is just obviously, you know, key to everything. So we'll put the other one. Yeah, we'll put it there. Perfect. Um, and Harlow deteriorated. Yeah, I don't... I really don't like that. Like, how else am I supposed to get a relationship with her, you know? Oh, ruins in my cities. Oh, derp. Oh, I'm so ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I forgot to make that. So I guess what's going to happen is I'm just going to produce timber... Yeah, I'm just going to produce timber and rebuild those houses. So let's bring the constants back down, or at least down here to old Nate's and then start exploring. Because that's going to be really key as well. So in the new world, coming back here, we have 580 uh, Hornoleros here. Delivery quest, what does he want? Wood, perfect. We have that. Sophisticated Slurry Lagoon, uh, Pig Farm, Rending Arts, Soap Factory, and Slaughterhouse. Oh, that is nice. Maintenance cost, but negative attractiveness. Man, that makes things a lot more attractive. That's that's pretty good. I like that one. I wonder if we're producing enough uh, ponchos. Oh, we are. So one of these alone is producing enough for us. That's nice. I like cramming in, cramming everything on this little island. Like, just feels a lot better, you know. Okay, so just to recap the episode, things have been going well. Uh, Hawaii is getting pretty well settled. We're going to get going on Hornoleros, and looks like they're already all set to upgrade. So once that happens, we'll just start making rum and start shipping it up to the old world, to Isle Royale. So going back to the old world, things are also going well. Um, Isle Royale is looking really good. Um, We've got all of our production in full swing. We're making our canned goods, actually. We're making quite a lot, I might add. I think we think we might have a surplus. Yeah, we have a surplus, actually, of 38. So I'll probably move along here and actually upgrade some more. I might have a sur... See, what's the... Um... Yes, I do have a little surplus. I know that, but... Okay, so I do have a little bit more of a supply of these, too. So... I might just upgrade some more of these and, and ship the surplus up to Mackinac here. Maybe. We'll see. Because um, I don't know if I want to spend the space on it. But anyway, so that's looking good. I'm looking to bring beer to Mackinac as well. Zakynthos might be a place where I export the hops to there and then just make beer there. Or I might just trade the beer from Isle Royale. I'm not sure, but either way, Mackinac will be my next kind of large population center. 
I am pretty excited about that. Um, and then also we we did just acquire Count Crown Falls in Cape Trelawney. Nate just offered me a diving bell. Okay, so we'll test out that stuff with old Nate on the next episode. Um, but here, of course, I, I screwed up. I forgot to. I forgot to make the uh, the population areas here. But Crown Falls is going well. We built this double road going back, um, which I might, which I like I just discussed earlier. I might actually add something else to it. Um, I might change this a little bit before the next episode and kind of show you the blueprint. Um, but other than that, things are going really, really well. Our our income isn't the greatest, but it's not negative. So I'm just happy about that. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave me a comment, a like, a share, a subscription, anything that you feel uh, justified for my channel. I, um, I do really enjoy doing this and it, it's free for you to show me uh, to show me that you like my video and it helps my little YouTube channel a lot. I'm really, really trying to grow. Um, I'd like to hit 100 subscribers uh, before February and, you know, I think that's definitely obtainable. I'm just going to keep putting out content and I hope that you all enjoy it and I hope that it helps you um, to learn the game, provide some entertainment either way. So with that, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.